JJ, are you in here? Carlos? What are you doing in the woman's west womb? I wanted to make sure you were okay. Hey, you're not allowed in here. You're a boy. That's bold of you to assume my gender. It's 2023. JJ, please talk to me. Sorry. I just... I'm just such a loser, and I don't want to be a loser anymore. Why are you a loser? Because I really liked Emma, and Nova stole her from me because I couldn't get the balls to ask her out. So after you left the party the other day when I was going to kiss my ex-girlfriend, she pranked me and made me kiss the mirror. She's such a bitch. Emma saw it, and it made me look like such a loser. JJ, you're not a loser. You're the coolest person I've ever met. I am a loser. I had my first kiss with a mirror. You haven't had your first kiss? No. See, now you think I'm a loser, too. And you're the one person I really don't want to think I'm a loser. No, I don't. You just haven't found the right person yet. But when you do, they'll be so lucky to kiss you. I think I know who that person might be. Who? You. I knew it. I said no sex in the bathroom. Detention for both of you. In separate rooms. Finally. There's no hot water left. I hate you. It's gonna be so cold. <laughs> this is about to be the fastest shower of my life. Can I put my nails? Oh no, it's a boy. <laughs> Quick. Hello? Hey, I'm on the way. Have you left yet? Yep, I'm in the car. I'll be here soon, okay? Love you, bye. What? I don't know how to. <laughs> <laughs> oh, best of luck. <laughs> Should I shave my hooch? You never know. Okay, today I am on set of the film Advanced Chemistry in Los Angeles, California. All right, first it's time to make me not look like me. This is my outfit, as you can see. Not something I would typically wear. In the film, I am playing a straight Catholic school teacher. Here's my friend that I'm at the bar with in the scene. And then over here are the two leads who are about to approach us. But first, I'm just chilling, sitting at the bar, having a drink with my friend, you know, after church. And this is Shantae. She's super nice and super funny. And that Samba, what? also Art. very nice and very funny. This is the perfect outfit to go to the bar to. And I don't want to give away too much, but Abby might be interested in someone in this bar. Okay, now it's day two of filming. Abby is about to make her appearance once again. But before I do that, I have to become Abby. And today I'm filming a super fun scene, but you're going to have to watch the movie to find out what happens. But I promise you it's worth it. I think I'm ready to have a baby. You're, you're only 15. Are you, are you judging me? No, I just, I just think having a baby is a big commitment and you should probably think through it. I, I, I wasn't trying to offend you. I'm already pregnant. What? Yeah, it's, uh, I, yeah, it's already in here. I thought you were gay. Yeah, I am. But did, did, did you have sex with a guy? No, only girls. Why? Uh, I got morning sickness this morning. It's coming in nine months. Look, um, I don't think that you're pregnant. Huh? You, uh, you can't get pregnant from another girl. Then why did I throw up this morning? Maybe you're sick? No. Oh. Okay, next up we have Mike. What? Did you do the project? What project? Okay. F. Fair enough. JJ, you're up. Time to shine. My presentation by JJ Johnson. Now, can someone tell me the difference between this and this? Yeah, one is bad for you and the other one isn't. Duh. Wong. They're both bad for you. Have you ever noticed that pretty much nobody our age smokes these anymore? But a lot of people smoke these. It's because we've been taught that these are bad for you. So Big Tobacco did a little repackaging and made them cute and colorful to keep us hooked. Which brings me to my next marketing ploy. 
how natural gas is bad for you. Oh, this project. But it's like natural. It's fine. It has natural in the name. Exactly. The gas industry has developed this term to make us believe that it's safe. But there is nothing natural or safe about it. It is toxic methane gas. Um, wait, like, how is it toxic? Wait, question. Emma, you have asthma, correct? Yeah. 12.7% of childhood asthma is caused by gas stoves in the United States. That's so rude. Yes, yes it is rude. And if your kitchen has poor ventilation, you could have higher levels of nitrogen dioxide than what the EPA considers legal for the outdoors with just a few minutes of stove usage. Which could put you at risk for respiratory issues. So we're like being kept hooked on gas. Yes, we just don't realize it. Companies like Southwest Gas are working in Arizona and Nevada to block any type of ban or restriction on gas as a utility. These restrictions are often proposed to phase out natural gas and move to the electrification of utilities, which would hurt their profits. That's not cool, bro. Oh my god, we should stage like an intervention. Exactly. The end. Great job, JJ. A plus. Really? Does this mean you like me now? No. Hey, do you want to meet me? Or me. Or me. Because you can. That's right. Well, you're actually going to meet me. On Saturday, June 4th at 10 p.m. in Orlando, Florida, I'm going to be at Pirates Adventure at 6400 Carrier Drive. This is a queer event put on by Pandora Events, which is part of Girls in Wonderland. And it's pirate themed. Don't forget, this is a 21 plus event. So come dress as a pirate or a mermaid or a piece of gold, but you can wear whatever you feel comfortable in. We're gonna dance and drink. I'm gonna be dancing like this. I like tequila. Yeah, and vodka. The link is in my bio to get a ticket to the event. So come meet me and let's party and hang out. Like, I totally want to meet you guys. So like, please come. <laughs> that was supposed to be flirty, just FYI. Also, you can follow me on Instagram for more updates. I'll see you there. Hey, bestie. Oh my God, are you okay? No, I'm sick. Weren't you just sick like last week? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, girl, I don't want what you got. We can't all be you, Fi. Well, duh, no one can be as cool as me. Sorry, I just have so many people blowing at my phone. Everybody wants me. Yeah, everybody wants me too at first, and then they get to know me and run for the hills. What's it like to be the loser? Hi, guys. How did you get in here? You were not invited. Oh, come on. Mm -hmm. The door was open? JJ, when are you gonna understand that you're worthless and nobody wants you around? Yeah, I definitely don't either. I barely like her. I'm doing the best I can. Well, your best isn't good enough because I'm doing better. Even Sicky over here is doing better than you. Do you guys want to play horsies with me? Hey, JJ, what's it like to be a one and done? You guys are so mean. Everybody knows you need two rounds to be fully satisfied. <sighs> it's true. Hi, guys. Queer girls over 21, stop scrolling. Do you want to hang out with me? I'm going to Orlando, Florida, October 14th to October 18th for Girls in Wonderland. Michaela, what's Girls in Wonderland? It's basically a four-day pride party, but for girls. We're currently getting together a group of girls, and I'm in need of roommates right now, so if you want to party with me and make some new friends, comment, and I'll send you the link to our group. Oh, paper plates, how classy. What's next? You're gonna tell me the turkey's from Costco? Of course it is. She really is a bitch, but she has a wonderful ass. Please, have a seat. Nice to see you again, Bobby. Nice to see you. When have you seen each other? Hi, JJ. Hi, baby. When can I have my Scrabble board back? So me and my girlfriend gonna be stepsisters soon because that would be really weird for our relationship. I don't think anything's off the table, honey. Oh, what? 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 Time to say grace, everybody focus. Who is grace? Grace is my scrabble partner. Honey, we have never stepped foot in a church. Okay, um. Yeah, one second, please. Do we have a Bible? We're doing this. Okay. Much more comfy. Dear God, thank you for this meal. Oh, man. We are thankful that we have food upon this table today so that we may eat it. Is it vegan? It's turkey. And well, me and my daughter only eat vegan. Um, I think the only thing vegan on this table is the water. Oh good, that's all we eat anyway.
you want to maybe come you're, over? You're, you're inviting me over? Yeah. Like, like right now? What, why? Are you, are you busy? No, no, no. I'll, I'll be right there. Okay, okay great. Bye. Children, um, something has come up and I must go attend to it. So, uh, detention is dismissed. She wants to do <coughs> <laughs> That's disgusting. Ew. No, I forgot that I have a doctor's appointment right now. Oh, yeah, I bet you're going to get checked out real good. I'm going to gag. Oh, I don't want to think about her that way. That's enough. You're dismissed. So, JJ, Friday we could uh, go to the movies. Yeah, I would like that. Cool, cool. Maybe we could, um, like, finish what we started. <laughs> okay. All right. I'll um, see you then. Quick. <laughs> hey dad are you crying no happy father's day what? you didn't forget no i was just planking i knew my kids wouldn't forget about my special day what well, mia actually did is that a present for me it's a golf show from swing juice golf dad i love it this is the best present i've ever got i got one for me too because i'm gonna go golfing with you today for father's day i have plans today actually but thank you for the gift oh oh wait is there something else in there okay what's this outstanding achievement in fatherhood yeah, actually i was trying to find one that said moderate achievement in fatherhood but that's the only one the store had swingjuice.com is a fun lifestyle apparel brand for golf and more great for father's day if you are looking for a great gift for your dad high quality performance polos and quarter zips with designs for someone that likes fashion wear on and off the golf course they have the best t-shirts hats and hoodies too go to swingjuice.com Hey dude, can I get one ticket to the brick house at the end of the street? Bruh, that's rated R, bruh. Do you have your ID? No. Mike, I'm literally in your class, bro. You know I'm not of age. Just give me the ticket. Alright, I honestly really don't care. But just so you know, that movie's fucking scary, bruh. Are you for real? Yeah, bro. I cried for three days and had to sleep on the floor in my parents' room. Fuck. Oh, well, you don't want to look like a pussy in front of your girl. I know, bro. Hey, bro, do you have any weed on you? No. Damn, all right. Well, good luck, bro. You're gonna need it. All right, I got my ticket. You ready to go in? Wait, where are you going? In Into the theater. Without popcorn? Uh, no, no, we can get popcorn. Yeah, we need popcorn. That's the best part of the movie. Come on, dude, you're sexy. You got this. Just go in for the kiss. She is not getting the hint. Maybe if I lick my lips. Why are you staring at me? I'm gonna miss the movie. Uh, okay. Shh. Oh, you're just jealous you're here alone. Why hasn't he asked to kiss me? Maybe he doesn't like me. <sighs> Why do I have to do everything? Hey, do you want to kiss me? Y yes, Willie. <laughs> Are you okay? Yeah, come back. Uh, are you sure? Yeah, promise. Oh, uh, I don't. I don't think that pants candy is, is sitting too well. Jesus. S sorry. Are you for real, bro? I told you this movie was too much for you. Well, fortunately, it's over anyway. Oh, um, I, I got, I gotta go to the bathroom, bro. I'm like so not in the mood to be here today. Well, maybe since it's Friday, it will be an easier day. Okay, class, please open up to a blank sheet of paper. Today, we are going to be learning the midpoint theorem. I spoke too soon. The midpoint theorem states that the line segment drawn from the midpoint of any side to the midpoint of any other side of a triangle is parallel to the third side and is half the length of the what? third side of the triangle. If you connect the midpoints of two sides of a triangle, then the resulting line segment will be parallel to the third side and have half oh, its length. Mrs. Asman, I'm really confused. Me too. Me for Oh, guys, I get it. AJ, you know the rules. If you text in class, you have to share with everyone. Okay, fine. I asked the AI chat on app if it could explain the midpoint theorem to me like I'm five. And it told me, the midpoint theorem says that when you draw a line between two points, the middle of that line is exactly halfway between the two points. It's like cutting a sandwich in half. You get two equal pieces. Oh. oh. I'm 
Mrs. Asman, why did you like make it so complicated? If you think you can do a better job teaching my class, then go right ahead. Okay, sure. Okay, is anyone confused about anything else? Oh, oh, can you ask it to explain the Pythagorean theorem? We learned that weeks ago. Yeah, but I like still don't understand because you made it so confusing. It's like a fancy math formula for figuring out how long a diagonal line is on square. There are so much sense. Mrs. Asman, how did you even get hired? Sorry guys, that's all I'm willing to work on paid, but if you have any more questions, you can download the chat on Artificial Intelligence app and ask it any do you want. I have never known satisfaction and happiness in all of my adult years until now, okay? Why does it have to be my dad? Oh, he's just one of many, honey. Does he know that? No, but when you care about someone, you don't tell them things that are gonna hurt them, okay? I don't think that's great advice. Well, you know what? You don't get out much. That's true. Why am I even your friend? <laughs> What are they doing? Arguing over a boy. Girls, knock it off. Life is too damn short to be fighting over boys, okay? I can hate you. Uh, let go of my hair. You stupid bitch. There's plenty of him to go around. Didn't your mother teach you that Sharon is Karen? I don't want to share Taylor's chlamydia. <sighs> yeah, no, don't share the chlamydia. Never mind. They'll figure it out. Okay, bye. You can leave now. Uh, wait a minute, young lady. I was coming to see if you wanted anything at the store. I'm going to run some errands. What store? Lick. Uh -uh. Licka licka. Oh, do you like sad? It sips better. I'm good. I have enough for the weekend. What? Okay. You need any condoms or anything else? No. Still gay. Yeah, I still don't know how that happens. Oh, man. I forgot my locker coat again. She's gonna be so mad at me. Is that girl new? What do you want, JJ? I'm at work. Mom, did you wipe my locker coat down anywhere? I forgot it again. <laughs> I've never seen her before, but she's prettier than you, Zoe. Might have to replace you as my best friend, especially with that crooked nose. <laughs> no, I didn't, JJ. It's not my responsibility to keep track of your locker code. You need to learn to be independent and start to take care of yourself, because I'm not going to be able to do it forever. Is this about Brody? Because I won't talk to him again. Again? <gasps> I deserve that one. You need to go to the front desk and tell them that you forgot okay, your locker combination like a big girl. And no, it's not about him. I just have a reputation to uphold. I can only be friends with nines, no eights or tens, because I have to be the prettiest, but I also can't be seen with ugly people. Oh, okay, that makes sense. Wait. I am at work trying to put a roof over our head, and I don't need calls from my daughter who doesn't know how to do anything for herself. Whatever. Casey, do you know her? Hang on. <sighs> what are you doing? I'm writing the answers to my science test on my hand. <gasps> You're so smart, Casey. Can't you? So fucking annoying. Shit. I ran out of room. Give me your hand. <gasps> I'm gonna be fucking late for class again. <laughs> Bitch, I have a blood condition. The ink is going to like seep into my blood and make my condition worse. This will be fine. Hello, we are from Worthington Hooker High School and we are going around Kailwing today trying to waste money. Are you 18? If you want me to be. Would you like to hear our song? Uh, yeah, sure. A one, two, three, four. A jingle bell, a jingle bell, a jingle bell rock. A jingle bell swing and a jingle bell ring. A swing and blowing and bush to the fun. Now the jingle hop has begun. A giddy up, jingle horse, pick up your feet. Jingle all around the block. I mix and mingle and the jingle and beat. Hey, that's the jingle bell rock. Did you like it? It was fine. Just none of you should pursue a music career. Ever. Uh, my dad told me I was great. You don't have to be a dick. Now, since we sang for you, please donate us money. Yeah, I don't think so. That, that kind of sucked. Let me get my checkbook. I'll be right back. <laughs> oh my god, that worked. But we didn't even sing yet. Who well, should I make this out to? Emma Whitlock for $5,000. Please. $5,000? Oh, you're here to collect the money for my new... Solar powered roof shingles? Yes. We cannot begin work without payment. Oh, okay. Here you go. Thank you. Well, when are you coming back to start working? Um, Wednesday. Okay. Thanks. Oh my god, that worked. Guys, this feels wrong. Maybe we should just sing for her anyway. Alright, fine. And as part of the promotion for the shingles, you get a free song sung by us. That, that sounds nice. Okay. A one, two, three, four. Grandma got ran over by reindeer. Walking home from my house Christmas Eve. 
You can say there's no such thing as Santa. But as for me and Grandpa, we believe. Why is she crying? What's wrong? I'm sorry. My my grandmother actually did get run over by a reindeer when I was a child. So that song is very traumatic to me. Are you joking? Yeah, maybe we should just leave. I feel like we've done enough to this poor lady. Yeah, let's go. Sorry, ma'am. Merry Christmas. I'm, I'm Jewish. Wow, this is a rough day.